when I first moved here, I really wanted to grow something up against this brown wall here. And ideally, I really wanted, I love wisteria, so I was hoping to get one. And I wasn't sure if that would be possible because what we have here, there's no soil. It's just sort of slabs down here. And so I got myself a huge pot. This is actually a really, really large pot and a little wisteria. And um, it's doing really well here. It's, it was, it's actually in bloom when I first bought it. I got it from a local supermarket that was just happened to be selling it. Um, and it was already had a few buds on it and it's grown really fast as wisterias do. But the fact is that people are a bit worried about wisterias sometimes because they can come in and ruin the foundations because they have so aggressive roots and growth and everything. So keeping it in a pot is actually a great idea if you're worried about that. So, you know, it can't get out, it's quite trapped. But um, yeah, this is it's not the sunniest spot here. And as you can see on this side, the sun has a lot, there's not much sun. So these ones are still all just budding. They're really interesting buds too. They look a bit like lupins. They sort of point upwards and then as they get heavier, they end up falling over and tumbling down. This one is about four years old, so it's still a young one, but it's got lots of beautiful flowers on it, lots of little buds. So it's just starting to flower now. And of course, because it's in a pot, I have to make sure I keep it well fed because the only place it gets its nutrition from is, is just from the soil inside that little pot. So I give it some, some feed in spring, just when it's starting to bud up again, because it goes completely, just like it bare sticks during the winter, it's deciduous, so all the leaves, everything falls off. And then it just buds up again in the spring. I don't do much pruning because it is so young and I just make sure it doesn't climb up too high or anything. The bees love it. You can see a few buzzing about here. It's lovely. But yeah, so I just put a bit of feed into the into the pot. I also refresh the soil by sort of scraping out the top bits, the top bit of soil, the top layer, and then adding new compost. But it's definitely a lovely, easy way to grow a wisteria. I want to buds again. Really beautiful things. I also have a water butt here, so collecting water, rainwater, so I can feed it with that all the time, which is really nice. Very handy. Not the prettiest thing, but very useful. So there we have it, my wisteria, my pot-grown wisteria.